Tony, I want to pick up on another thread that you mentioned just a few minutes ago, and that is your experience at Big Pharma, um, and it was mentioned uh, in Bob's introduction as well. Um, big Pharma, quote unquote, is often mentioned in the pejorative by a lot of people in a lot of circles. But more and more startup level CEOs and executives like yourself are either coming out of the major pharmaceutical companies or like you, they have their career roots at the major pharmaceutical companies. So is there something or things that you appreciate most that you took from Bristol and you took from Merck that have really helped you not just now in the running of a baby uh, biopharmaceutical company, but also at a mid-sized company like Onyx? Uh, th there's one from each of them that, uh, that comes immediately to mind. Uh, Merck taught me excellence. It's really interesting. You know, all of my life I've, I've focused on being a physician, being the best physician I could be, you know, being a part of the greatest institutions that, that one can be a part of. But when I arrived at Merck, there was something in the DNA of that company that did a couple of things. Excuse me, this was Roy Vagelos? This, this was Roy Vagelos, okay. was the CEO. One of, the, one of the greatest leaders uh, of our industry of all time. Uh, still alive, still doing well, still doing great things, and a personal mentor of, of mine. But it taught me two things. It taught me the, to the, that the attention to detail and the focus on excellence in everything you do in this industry is critical. And that if we lead with science and we follow by doing the right thing, and I can give a couple of examples of what that looks like, then we will always pop it. So think about a physician who's changed careers and having that as the foundation for your early career experience. I, I, it, it doesn't get a lot better in terms of training for how you really emerge as a leader in the industry. Bristol Myers Squibb taught me something very different. It wasn't number one. Merck had been, when I joined, had been the most admired, admired company uh, by Fortune for seven years running. So you can see the, the notoriety it gained as a result of the excellence. Bristol Myers Squibb wasn't number one, but it taught me the intense, fierce, competitive spirit that's required for us to continue to push the envelope and ask the most important questions. Because the mantra at BMS was, we want to be number one. And it was interesting to operate in our industry, which is so ethically oriented and with such a, a, a moral high road in most cases. And we can, we can talk about some more contemporary examples that, that I've got lots of views about. But um, taking the high road and using that high road, using the ethical approach, and really intensely and fiercely going after those things that will bring the greatest benefit to patients. 